So after getting my behind kicked repeatedly in Iron Banner, defeat only stops you if you let huh. it. Well, that went well. All... But that's not what actually happened, though. This is what it is. I realized that I didn't do nor this week or last week's quests for the story. So I guess I shall get that done here now. And since it's known how bad I really am at Destiny, I have a bad feeling that this isn't going to end so well. A pretty good foreshadowing for what's going to happen near. Your grandpa's reaction when you video call him for the first time. Ah, I see you. You see me too. Ha, good. Good. Then it is all working. You, me, this projector. Even if we sometimes fall. There is a war building in Sloane's eyes. One that Zivu Arath will exploit as she did with Osiris. Zavathun wore his face, but it was Zivu Arath who took his light. Her whips drove him into a frenzy, lured him into danger, forced Sagira's sacrifice. Okay, this Zivu Arath woman seems pretty scary. I'm actually scared. And left him die. Now she twists my thoughts into thorns, draws out the faces of the suffering elixir into my dreams. She whispers that I took pleasure in their pain. I see their eyes as they died by my hands, and they see me. Well, to be fair, the Elixni that he slaughtered were eating babies and other children, along with a few humans. So, you know Saint-14 ain't gonna let that slide. He straight up slaughtered them. And I mean slaughtered. It's just straight up slaughtered them. She does not lie. She challenges what you hold as a strength. Osiris' ambition, my protection. Sloan's duty. I have felt how the right word, the right face, can incite one to violence. But I have changed. What she has taken, it will not break me. Sloane is no warrior of glass, but the war within her. Even stone crumbles under enough strife. Stay with her, guardian. As I should have with Osiris. We must offer her what support we are able, even if she does not want it. Alright, to the throne world. See, I would do an 80s Batman cut, but, uh, can't do that. For obvious reasons, so... You know, just use your imagination. Alright, I'm at the throne world now, so now it's time to look for this lost sector that I'm supposed to go to. Alright, lost sector found. So, uh, now it's time I eliminate everyone in here. Oh, you wanna see something? You ready for your close-up? Well, you're the guy who I came here to kill. I was getting paid a hefty amount to take this bounty out on you. Now. Don't scream now. Okay, I think it's time I get out of here and leave you guys traumatized that I just killed your whole entire uh, team. Make you hate all guardians. Later, clowns. Okay, I'm back at the helm now. Time to see why in the heck they'd need uh, 
a hive ghost. I probably should have paid attention to what those paragraphs said just to figure out why they needed the hive ghost. Alright, got the hive ghost, ma'am. Uh, I'm not gonna question why you need it because I honestly don't care, but uh, here you go. confront the witness you must understand it the witnesses first victims were once like you struggling for survival bolstered by hope and so their hopes became reality they called it the gardener their deity of life it ushered them into a golden age for eons, they prospered, but their newfound god never spoke to them. It lavished them with gifts, but not with guidance. And though they lived in paradise, they came to crave a greater purpose. They desired meaning, structure, a winnower, to shape the garden. Their scholars discovered that the Gardener shared a connection with another entity among the stars. They called it the Veil, and when they found it, they arrived to claim it. They already knew much about the Light, how it could bend the laws of the universe and create life. But they came to realize that it could bring ruin just as easily. The cosmic events it set in motion could wipe out entire civilizations in a heartbeat, without reason. And so they saw the light, not as a source of prosperity, but of unfettered chaos. By studying the veil, they came to know the darkness. A power that was shaped by thought and consciousness. And in the darkness, they found the means to carve away the chaos of existence. To calcify it into a final shape. Hmm, very interesting. Boy, if you don't get- Eternal. And perfected. They brought the Veil back to the Gardener, in an attempt to strengthen their connection. But it seems obviously the Gardener didn't like that, because, uh, that's why we have them now. Which is why we're dealing with this problem. There, they could reshape reality itself. The Gardener would not allow it. And so it fled. Which is what the Traveler does all the time. It literally just leaves the people that it helped. Just leave them to suffer and die. Their world. But they would not be deterred. Having witnessed the truth in the darkness, they used its binding power to merge themselves into the salvation they craved. Thus began the Witness's pursuit. Its campaign to impose meaning on a meaningless universe. Okay, look. Despite seeing how powerful the Witness really is, I still want him to be in the raid so I can 
just the sole purpose of me being able to punch him in his face just for no reason specifically. Like, I really just want to punch man's in his face. One that is nearly at its end. You all right? I guess I'll take that as a no then, huh? Okay, whatever. Well, now we've heard what Asa had to tell us. We know our enemy better than ever. To think that it all started with the need for purpose. How that need became an obsession. What bothers me most is how much I understand it. This mission. It's my purpose, my reason for being. My guiding light. Without it, I... I'm lost. I don't know who I am or what I'm supposed to do. And that lack of direction, it's harder to face than a thousand battles. I felt the same about my previous mission when I held the line on Titan. And if I'm being honest, it feels like I failed. I survived, but for what reason? What was it all meant to achieve? The only answer I've found is to learn what Asa knows. If I can do that, it will all have been worth it. Our link ended before Asa could explain how to get through the portal. The bond took its toll, but we'll both be ready again soon. When that time has come and gone, then I can feel like I accomplished the mission. I ain't gonna cap. She was speaking to my soul for a moment there. I ain't gonna cap about that. That's crazy. I felt that. I felt all that. Change of plans. Zivu Arath struck while you were returning from the dive. High Wait, deception what? slipped through our guard, and Asa was targeted by a hive ritual. Zivu no. Arath's voice tore through the air like a wall of swords. We think it wounded Asa, but she swam off to try and interrupt the ritual before we could do anything. Zavala and Sloan are tracking her to the ritual site, and I am mobilizing the Iron War Beasts to support them. We need you in the fight, Guardian. I'm sending coordinates to your ghost, but we have no idea what to expect there. Deploy to the ritual site and disrupt the hive. The hunt is on. Darn them, whatever it is going on, I'm going to. Uh, never mind. But I'm going to destroy them all. <laughs> oh, did he really think that this was going to be easy for him? See, this is what I was foreshadowing earlier. This clown don't even realize that he is most definitely about to catch all types of work. All of it. Literally all of it. Alright, why don't we get to this finale then, shall we? Take my hand. We will go. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I got scared when it said light level recommended 1800. Fire team, check in. I'm I've only 1770. On I've encountered a ritual. I'm setting up on the right. Looks like a smaller ritual site here, too. Pushing toward the commander's position now. My drop pod is deployed to your location, Sloan. Drifter, you're on tack. Well, all right. Taking energy, spiking up ahead of you, hero. That must be awesome. Ah! My arm! Whatever they're doing, it's getting worse. 
If we're gonna do something about it, now's the time! Guardian, start pushing forward. As soon as Saladin's pod hits ground, we launch our diversion. Alright, got it to fall. Alright, you heard the man. When we get down in here, we go straight ham on these guys. Don't let no one survive. Kill them all. Nothing but murder. Slaughter them. Every last one of them. We get the fish out of here and we go. Pod grounded. I'm in position. Guardians, strike! Flooding the right flank. We're holding. This line doesn't fall back. Okay, hotshot. It's all you now. Move, move, move. Go, 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 go. Found the long girl. Guardian's almost there. Dropping a ping to the fire team. Taking fire. Repositioning. I got you. They are overrunning our position. Zavara! Drop hordes and focus fire on their ritualists. No one gets past us! Yeah! We must continue to hold for our go! Okay, so now this is my moment where I continuously get just beaten down due to my insufficient skills in this game and mainly because i'm on a lower weaker level light level so i'm practically dead i shouldn't even be doing this alone right now so for this next part it's just going to be me continuously dying until i actually get it done is that wait these rituals they're trying to take Asa! Keep your taking pants on. I ain't never seen a ritual our walking tank couldn't smash. That's a whole lot of mess. And I bet those wizards are holding the reins. Get in there and start breaking things. Okay, I'm a little bit scared. My bullets are shooting three pebbles on here. These guys are literally, uh... Nothing to it. They will, in fact, annihilate me with the slightest chance of even getting back off. I really have to be my own trying to dodge all these. I got I quit. I got killed by a freaking shrieker. Assuming that you know what this enemy does when you hit it, you already know what the freak happened to me. Nuclear bomb. Okay, I think I did it. Are you serious, my brother? Okay, so I definitely some type of plan to get rid of the shrieker first. I need to That's a whole take him lot of magic, and I bet those. W
absolutely getting turned into a Playboy Cardi album cover. I figured it was time that I called for backup. Yo, bro, stop whatever the freak you doing. I need your help with something. And what is this that you need my help with? Well, for the past two hours, the Hive have been turning me into an album cover. Alright, say less. I'll be there. That's a whole lot of magic. And I bet those wizards are holding the reins. Get in there and start breaking things. Every wizard you put in the dirt makes a dent. Plug away, hero. Also just got a second wind, Guardian. Whatever you're doing, keep it up. Boy, you will take that position. Clever. Warrior of the sky. I can't be the only one whose mind is in the gutter. <laughs> Last one. Long girl should be home free. And with the power of great friendship, me and my homie managed to beat this. Nah, I think you just suck. Excellent work, Gunny. Fire team chicken. Down to a sword, but hive and taken forces routed. They will not run far. So many titans. We encircle them like impenetrable walls! Ha! <laughs> Clear your zones, and fall back to defensive positions around us as she swims back to the Arcology. Consider it done. War beasts, you fought well. Extra rations for all. What's Asa's status? I've got an eye on her, and I'm shipping a transmat beacon your way. Hold on to your boots! I I I she's cutting. Zivorath's forces are in full retreat. Good. Time to complete the mission. Our dance will never end. I am war. You carry my banner. Cling to me like hope. What are you without me? Sink into my embrace. Drown in the deep. Fight forever. Stand down, deputy. Sometimes the battle is stepping away from the battle. With you all the way. <sighs> the true path lies obscure, but she knows the way. She who hides Whoa. truth in deception. Now, hold on, stop. Pause. I know they're not. I know they're not talking about Sabathun. I know not. The Witch Queen must rise.
Hey, nah, nah, hold on. Don't go to sleep back on me now. What was all that mess? Oh, nah, I can definitely see right now that the big guys are gonna have some words about this. They're definitely going to be pissed. They won't be so happy at all. Okay, time to see how they feel now. We're lying on Sabathun. This is what it's come to. Tell me you're not serious. I am. Asa has given us a way to follow the witness. This cannot be the only way. Everyone in this room understands the risks. But we find we have a path forward. We can't wait for another. The Empress won't take kindly to this news. You stand on her council. Convince her. I cannot watch the Witch Queen rise again, Zabal. To scheme against us. To steal another face? No! She won't be given the opportunity. Eris and Ikora will keep the situation under our control. Imaru isn't one to be baited into a trap. Not a trap. A bargain. We're all against the witness. Sabathun's ghost has no choice but to cooperate. I'll convey your decision and assurances to the Empress. Commander. Guardians. I tried to control the Witch Queen before I saw how that ended, Zawala. It is a treacherous path. When she strays, as I know she will, even one claw. My fist will be right behind yours. And so will mine. I still got a score to settle. I hope I am wrong. Right now, I cannot see how. Osiris will hear of this. I imagine he will have words too. There's a long night ahead of us. Let's be the beacons others need to follow. At least until we make it through this. Well, that's all. Be sure to give a like when a dragon slash and subscribe to become part of my dragon family later.